everyone should be present. This is not the way. So uh, we have to know some basic concepts before we do it. Uh, first of all, why do we need to use databases? Why do we need to use computer databases? Okay. Why use uh, computerized database, so obviously computerized databases. Well, obviously, uh, manually, you had to have a lot of physical space. And one of the most important thing was uh, searching of data. Uh, you can easily search for um, uh, out of million of records, one particular record uh, with the help of primary key, um, with the help of RDBMS. So why do we use databases? We use databases, obviously, uh, to make searching efficient to limit physical storage what am I typing storage space okay to Table data from multiple tables. Okay. Getting rid of re redundant data. We'll talk about this later on. Data that is of no use. Okay. So uh, obviously there, there are lots of uh, advantages of your databases in general. If we talk about types of databases, well, uh, first of all, we have is a flat file database. A flat file database consists of Excel, uh, in which you can have tables, but you cannot have relationships. You can have, you can write down the field names, but you cannot define the data types. So no relationship can be made, no data types can be defined, and validation can be applied, but to a limited extent. Okay, the way you can do validation in, in, in uh, RDBMS, Relational Database Management System, which is the next one I'm discussing, RDBMS, which stands for Relational Database Management System. So in Relational Database Management System, obviously what you're doing is you are creating relationships. You are creating relationships, uh, uh, ships, between the tables. And this tends to be a, a, of a lot of importance. And you'll gradually know what do I mean by that. You can um, keep on asking questions if you have a problem. Right, so then you have is a flat file, then you have is hyperlink. Hyperlink databases are just like Wikipedia. Uh, you have lots of websites uh, that hold a lot of content. Uh, Wikipedia is one of them. Okay, mm, so uh, even your search engines tend to be in the form of hyperlink databases where you have information uh, stored in the, in the form of pages and hyperlinks. Well, anyway, these are the types. Uh, we obviously uh, have done Excel. Um, our, our target today will be to start with RDBMS, which is Relational Database Management System, right? Um, any question before I continue? Is it clear, Mariam? Leva. Yes, sir, something. Okay, right. Now, what, what I'll do is, okay, let's say if I have any file, let me just hold on it, hold on, hold on, hold on let's stop. Mm, just one second, let me just. Just need a, a CSV file that I can probably use uh, in a better way today to explain you. Um, no, 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 I need multiple files. Yeah, I can use this, but not right now. Maybe later on I'll use this file. So I have customers and the prices. Let's see what do we have here? What do we have here? Okay, I have some information about the customer. Okay. 
just one second. Fine, I'll use this. We can use this perfectly fine. So, uh, well, uh, I just opened up the Excel file and, I, and you can see, uh, obviously when you start with databases, you're supposed to open up the Excel file and you're supposed to see what type of data is there. Can this be imported or not? Okay, I, this is the reason why, why I'm doing it. I have to see that, uh, is this data in the form that could, can be and should be imported into Access, why? Because the first row contains the field names. You know, what am I talking about? If your, if your fields were this way, what I mean to say is just let's talk about it. Uh, let's say what I do is I'll copy this and I will transform this. Right click and right click and transpose. Okay, I'll just I'll just somehow uh, just hide all this. Now let me also hide this. If someone says you're supposed to import this into Access, you would say. How can I import this to access? The first row contains the field names. These are not the field names, these are the field names. The first row has to be the field names in, in access in order to be imported into access. So if such a kind of question does arise where your fields are displayed, you have discussed HLOOKUP with me. So if this is the case, then all you have to do in your exams will be, uh, before you import int into access, you have to simply copy it, and obviously you do know what I'm saying is you need to transpose it, you bring it in this form and then you can import. Okay, uh, so, so the, the thing that you have to look at, so it's always advisable that you first of all open the files and you see can they be imported or not. Uh, we'll go into access now, okay. So open the blank database. Uh -huh. Right, um, here we go. This is, this is where you will land. Okay, uh, I'll come into external data. Uh, you will find it a bit different in your access. Uh, mine is a different version, but same thing, no, no difference. Uh, you'll have a text file. In external data, you'll find text file. My text file is somewhere over here. Okay, so I just change the layout. So you have to find the text file. I repeat again, in external data, you'll find the text file. Now we have to import through a text file. Now why are we importing through a text file is because uh, CIE exams are set up through generic files. Now, what do I mean by generic files? Now, you can, uh, you, you have a, a JPG as generic file format, tends to be the most common one. Your TXT is generic file format. Uh, Docs, which is MS Word, it is not a generic file format, keep in mind. Docs is not. Docs is only meant for uh, MS Word. Okay, XLS is not a generic file format. XLS is for Excel spreadsheet. CSV is generic file format. Are you following me? Okay. The, 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 yes. Sorry, Veda? Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So CI will always provide you with generic file formats, uh, obviously because um, we have to provide those files which can be used by every candidate and every candidate um, will be using a different software. I mean, what I mean to say is um, maybe in Africa, they're using a different software. So that's what generic. Anyway, so through text file, you can import is uh, on the generic file format. So I'll paste the location and here we have is booking. So first I'll click on booking. You don't need to do anything over here. You, you land over here and you'll get delimited and fixed. Again, you're not doing anything. You're not changing and you leave it as delimited. Next. Now, this is important. Now, this is where we will tell. We are importing from uh, a flat file database format into a relational database format. So I'll tell, I have to tell that the first row is contained the field names. I need to tell this, okay? And I need to tell that it's being separate through comma because you might have noticed I'm using it to import it from a comma separated value, CSV file, right? So here we go, I'll use a comma. Um, uh, we, I will discuss this tomorrow, inshallah, in, in, that we might have, okay? 
uh, we might have spaces or might be separate to, to other characters. Anyway, so we'll leave it as comma today. Next. When we land over here, we have an advanced option. I want to discuss this. Well, first of all, let's talk about the data types. You have the following data types. Uh, we don't have to discuss all of them. Whichever are important, I will. Yes, no is one of the data type, which is uh, known as Boolean logic. OK, now the point is, what are data types? We need data types. Data types basically are, um, the name will always be text. Um, email address could be a string, a text as well, alphanumeric. A date will always be date, DMY, MDY. Price will always be number, so on and so so. The importance of data types is that if you define data types, it will help you in data integrity. Now, what, I, what do I mean by data integrity? By data integrity, we mean the data is supposed to be in the form of the way it should be in. Okay, what the reason, you know the reason why we are using databases and computer databases? Because we want, if someone is entering a price, mistakenly someone does not enter instead of numbers or text. Or if someone is entering name, instead of entering text, someone is entering number. So we have to make sure that proper validation verification is done. So de defining data types helps us to optimize the database and also to helps us to validate. So yes, no means that if someone um, is, is selecting um, purchased or not purchased, uh, gender, male, female, uh, going for a trip, yes, no. So if you just have two options, you will select data type is yes, no on, off, true, false, male, female, whatever. I'm not discussing that. Integer and long integer are quite the same thing. The, 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 the major difference that you have between integer and long integer tends to be that integer can hold less um, um, did, uh, digits, values, numbers, as compared to long integer that can hold a lot more. Okay, So it's like 18 characters or more. Okay, And integer less than that. So uh, you, you can use long integer. Currency is, is one of the data type, uh, for obviously which we use for price, that can hold a whole number and decimal both. Single and double, very important. Please listen to this very, very carefully. Uh, in fact, everyone should have been present in this class. Single and double is for decimal. Then why do I, we have two different types of decimal? Again, just like we have integer and long integer, Single and double are used for the number of decimal places. If you want a lot of decimal places for precision, you can go for double. But if you want limited amount of decimal places, you can go for single, right? But remember, both are decimal places. Date with time is date with time, obviously, and then nothing to explain. But one thing to explain already will be that we'll always be using the format is DMY, not MDY. And with databases, it's very important. So you don't have to worry about your CI exams. Uh, your exam, when you go for exam, your computers will be set according to DMY because you're appearing for a British paper, but you're using mostly the American-based software. That's a problem. So you have to set it accordingly. Short text is obviously short text that can include less text and long text obviously is there to have more text such as comments and stuff like that. OLE object, although not a bit a big discussion, but I will discuss it. Um, not in the book, but I will, inshallah. Uh, OLE is used, uh, you might have noticed, uh, sometimes you have a page where you have you can attach the files. Uh, so when you're attaching a file, what data type do you have? Well, when you attach something, a file or an attachment, the backend where it's saved is an OLE. Okay, so it's majorly for attachments. I will attach and I'll make a form and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so this, these are data types. Uh, obviously, we will keep on discussing these again and again. But uh, for, for today, this is what data types are. So DMY, it means uh, uh, the date and time that you have is DMY. Uh, we don't have to choose MDY unless until specified by the examiner, which has never been the case. But you have to read the question carefully. Okay, I'll press OK. I haven't changed anything, frankly speaking. So it was DMY, the following dates I have. And oh, uh, do I have any yes, no? I'm sorry, I think so. I should have made some Boolean logic. Uh, no, no, no Boolean logic. So next, uh, when I come here, I can choose is a primary key. 
Can someone tell me what's the primary key? Iman? What's um, the, the most important row, I think, this day, yeah. it's which makes it easier to sort out. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, anyone? Yeah, Fatma, anyone? What do you think is the primary key? Okay, it's okay. Now, a primary key basically, uh, such as your role number, is a primary key. Um, if Iman has a particular role number, Samaya will not have one. Okay. If Mariam has a particular role number, someone else will not have one. So they're unique. We call a primary key a primary key, unique key, or a key field. Right? So in a table, uh, the reason why we should have a primary key, it's not important to have it all the time. We'll discuss it. But if you have a primary key, you will be able to search uh, the record. For example, if you have a, a library system and you're saving the information about all the books in the library. So once you start saving each and every book by a book ID in your library, I know you have is IS, IS uh, be a number, but I'm not talking about that. You will have is a book number ID. If you have is a vehicle identification number, so VIA number basically distinguishes each and every vehicle. So a unique your primary key is used to uniquely distinguish each and every record. So over here, as you can see, is we are dealing with a, a, a booking information. We are booking. Uh, uh, information about different clients and all that customers are we making a booking form something like that so we'll have a booking id so how many bookings do we have so booking id will be the primary key this is what we have if i open this i have imported this what i'll do is you know why the sense uh, okay uh, out of all of you uh we see which are four students mariam have you done um, databases before? Laiba, have you done databases before? No, sir. No. Iman, have you done databases before? Hmm? Samaya, have you done databases before? No, sir. Okay, right, right. Good, good. So I have an idea. Uh, fine. Even if there was one student, I would have discussed in detail. So what I'll do is, uh, okay, do you have, one most important thing, do you have access in your laptops? MS Access. Mm. Sir, I don't see it. check it. And I am pretty sure if you have office, you will have access. I'm pretty sure you will. In case if someone does not have level, let me know. I'll send you a link for, to download it. I'll just I'll right away. May 10 minutes, but I'll stop this lecture. I'll upload the video. I will share these files with you. This has to go the way we practice in the lab. Practical you know that. I'll stop. I will 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 stop. I I will stop. I will stop. I I will stop. I uh, find new module, name software, or the software install, and be ready. That's the way it has to go. So, let me continue. So, we have imported this into Access, and you can see my data is appearing properly. Okay, um, there are no errors, there's nothing like that. Uh, now, you can see over here is that if I if I go to view in the home, in the home, I can go to view and I go to design view. Design view, may this is what I have. Now, this is what, what you don't have in Excel. It tells you that every field that you have, like booking ID, uski data it kya. Customer ID, what data it has. So all the fields and the data type it may have. Okay. So there, there are lots of things that we can do over here. And you will get an idea in the inshallah bye bye tomorrow, tomorrow class, you will have a good idea that why do we use databases? So, so I'm telling you, um data data. Uh, Bases, data science, data engineering is one of the most important key job positions your future may ringi. Kyunke how to handle data, how to store data is 
everything. Data is everything nowadays. So if you are good in databases, you will have lots of job prospects. Or data scientists ki jobs bahut zyada generate ho rahi hai. So it's a very very important model. Main bata do. If you know how to work with Access Advance, or you can work with MySQL Server. So it's my baat hai apne ki. Let me talk about it. Uh, you should know it. Uh, MS Access is is one of the database software available within Office Pack. There are lots of uh, database software available. अगर आप बात करते हो वेरी प्रोफेशनल स्टैंडर्ड की लाइक लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एयरलाइंस एमरेट्स लाइक इवन या लेट्स गो एट द बैक एंड वे आर दिस सेविंग दिस मिलियंस ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स दे आर यूजिंग ओरेकल फॉर दैट यू माइट हैव हर्ड ऑफ ओरेकल ओरेकल बेसिकली थर्ड पार्टी डेटाबेस सॉफ्टवेयर दैट इज यूज्ड टू स्टोर अनलिमिटेड इंफॉर्मेशन इट्स थर्ड पार्टी माइक्रोसॉफ्ट को तलक नहीं इसका ओरेकल is pretty expensive pretty expensive um, you can't use a crack version available nahi hoga aapko milega nahi aaram se and many milega nahi for it by the way so um microsoft has not been able to compete oracle even microsoft ke bhi apne bahut se product hain such as mysql server and sql server but still mysql server and sql server have not been able to compete oracle acha ye main sir aapko kyun bata raha hu kyunki isme we learn is sequential query language sql which is very important hai okay Uh, SQL commands will help you to uh, extract data out of a table. अब ये important क्यों है? Now you have information. You have a lot of data. You want to search out, find out, or we could telecommunication company. उसको उसमें आपने find करना है. I want to find all those uh, clients um, who are between this age and this age, who live in this area. Have been our customer from this state, this 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 state, and so on and so so. By itri chiza chiza filter to ni kar sakte. Uske liye you have to use SQL commands. Through SQL commands you will be able to extract the information. Or jo apke database administrator hote hain, unki badi key position hoti hai, wo chote position nahi hoti. They will simply type in these SQL commands and they will extract the data and they will give it ahead because uh, data, uski processing. Me baba keh raho is one of the most important thing. Data processing is very very important. Processing, saving, okay. ये bad. So this is the back end of database. Okay, I have the following details. ये आपके fields हैं. You can see over here keys made, which means it's a primary key. You see, you can define primary key. क्या मतलब primary key का? Primary key का मतलब ये है कि you see every record is is different. And let's say if I add one over, if I try to make it same, it will it will not allow me to do so. It will say oh what are you trying to do? The changes your requested to the table were not successful because they would create duplicate values in the index it says you are trying to create duplicate values in this you can do that because booking id is supposed to be different it's supposed to be a primary key it's supposed to be a unique key you cannot have two people with the same roll number you cannot have two vehicles with the same number plate or is ka obviously agar main same karna shuru ho jaunga if i want to search for h तो इफ आई हैव मल्टीपल हाउ वुड आई सर्च फॉर ये एक पर्टिकुलर रिकॉर्ड है ये एक पर्टिकुलर रिकॉर्ड है ये एक पर्टिकुलर रिकॉर्ड है सो थ्रू द प्राइमरी की वी डू द सर्चिंग आर यू विद मी ऑल ऑफ यू आपको बात समझ आ रही है मेरी सारी ना यस जी एनी क्वेश्चन अच्छा दिस इज द वे आई एम इंपोर्टेंट एंड दिस इज द वे आई वेंट टू द डिजाइन व्यू ओके और ये मेरे पास हाउस के डेटाइप्स आ गए अच्छा वन थिंग दैट बी डी पी वी हैव टेक केयर ऑफ इज दैट वील ऑलवेज ट्राई नॉट टू चेंज डेट टाइप ओवर हेयर हम कर सकते हैं मगर अभी राइट नाउ यू नॉट डूइंग इट यू विल बी चेंजिंग द डेट टाइप्स ओनली ड्यूरिंग द इम्पोर्ट प्रोसेस मैंने आपके साथ अभी किया है यू विल बी ओनली डूइंग इट ओवर देयर ओके दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग देर आर Other things, I I just stop. I give you after the small discussion. For example, ये देखो. You I have this party number. This party number basically is from one till ten. Good example I can create. So if I have this party number, uh, we have discussed validation in Excel. You see, I have this validation rule and validation text. You can see over here. So what I can do is I can write over here is validation rule. May I can write over here is that it should be greater than one or greater than equal to one and less than and equal to ten. This is what we had one to ten. 
तो यहां में लिख दूंगा कि एंटर वैल्यूज डेट आर बिटवीन वन एंड टेन सो हेयर वी गो लेट्स प्रोसीड फॉर यू अब वो एक्चुअली मुझे कहेगा कि डेटा इंटेग्रेट रूल हम चेंज वो एक्चुअली ये कह रहे हैं कि यू हैव एग्जिस्टिंग डेटा एंड यू ट्राइंग टू अप्लाई अ वैल्यूशन रूल ऑन इट आर यू श्योर यू इन योर सेंसेस मतलब ऑब्वियसली डायरेक्टली वही कह रहा है कि मे बी यू ट्राइंग टू अप्लाई अ रूल दैट माइट कॉन्ट्रोडिक्ट द डेटा जिसकी वजह से आपको हो सकता है कि डेटा डिलीट हो जाए ओके सो इन दैट केस इट्स जस्ट गिविंग यू वन यस इट नो आई व्हाट आई एम आई नो व्हाट आई एम गोइंग तो मैं इधर आता पार्ट नंबर में और लेट्स से इफ आई एम एंटरिंग अ न्यू डेटा मैं क्या नया डेटा भी एंटर कर सकता हूं ओके एंड आई कैन प्रोबब्ली आई एम लेम चेंजिंग सम डेटा मैं क्या करता हूं मैं गलती से लिख देता हूं 16 एंड आई प्रोसीड फर्दर इट सेज नो एंटर वैल्यू दैट इज बिटवीन 1 एंड 10 ओके सो इफ आई एंटर ओवर हियर लेट्स से इज माइनस 3 अगेन इट सेज नो यू कांट डू दैट सो यू नीड टू एंटर ओवर हियर इज लेट्स से 5 ओर व्हाटएवर ओनली देन इट विल एक्सेप्ट इट सो आई हैव अप्लाइड अ वैलिडेशन रूल इन दिस फील्ड आई कैन अप्लाई वैलिडेशन रूल इन ऑल ऑफ देम वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस is it clear so this is the validation rule and this is the list of rules that we will be working with okay balki main aap se share kar deta hu list of validation rules jo aap padh lena kal ki class se pehle so that i can go bit fast with you you get my point all of you any problem no sir acha the reason why i have to make it short today is uh, kyunki i want you to practice and i want to make sure you have the software ओके वो नो ऑब्वियसली कैन कीप ऑन कंटिन्यूइंग मगर साथ साथ आपका मेरे साथ करना जरूरी है बार बार कह रहा हूं ये समझो आप लैब में हो मैंने इंस्ट्रक्शन दी है उसके बाद आपने प्रैक्टिस करनी है ठीक है तो मैं इसको स्टॉप करके मैं अपलोड कर रहा हूँ आई एम ऑन व्हाट्सएप मुझे पांच मिनट देना आई शेयर द लिंक और उसके साथ मेरे साथ अपडेट रो एंड टेल मी दैट हैव यू प्रैक्टिस ऑल दिस इन एक्सेस ऑल ऑफ यू एंड जस्ट वेट मैं आपकी अटेंडेंस ले दू इज इट क्लियर वट आई सेड Yes, sir. Right, please, please, you, uh, uh, you have कल की क्लास बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है कल दो क्लासे है हमारी तो उसमें मैंने काफी कवर कराना है तो इनशाला बाय बाय ऑल मीन हमने एबसेंट नहीं होना आप लोग तो इसके आए हुए हो मैं ग्रुप में भी बताया तो ऑल तो मैंने बताया था ग्रुप में आज भी पर एनी वे जिन्होंने होना है उन्होंने होना है क्या इससे राइट 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 चलो ओके बेटा जस्ट गिव मी फाइव मिनट्स आई शेयर द वीडियो ओके ओके सर ओके बेटा ओके बेटा ऑल ऑफ यू अल्लाह हाफिज